People have bias. People make assumptions. So my older daughter has facial deformities as a result of her disability. When people see her, they assume that she has cognitive impairments. They assume that maybe she's not smart. Um, sometimes they assume she can't hear. Every individual has a unique talent, irrespective of whether they have some kind of disability or not. When we meet someone for the first time, based on how they're dressed, how they look, we think we know a lot about them, but we don't. A group of employees came together in 2007-8 in India and uh, wanted to have a chapter of the global uh, ERO, uh, CDAN. We started with CDAN with an aim to ensure that we create an inclusive environment for Cisco. Just because somebody is differently abled, it doesn't mean they need to be excluded. So CDAN was really to provide the best opportunity and the best platform for people to have a meaningful career. What we are celebrating today is the People with Disabilities Day. The goal of this particular event was, one, to create awareness amongst all the different employees. We were mostly talking about how as an organization uh, we should be, you know, more sensitized towards disability and how, what are the changes that we need to make uh, to accommodate uh, disability within our organization. We have Nadine Vogel uh, from Spring Road Consulting who is here. So in today's keynote, I want to focus on the sheer size and demographic of disability. I think people don't realize how large a population it is and how many folks really experience it in some way, shape, or form. Second is we invited a lot of external uh, companies, organizations, and NGOs. The session was excellent because we were able to share a lot of uh, our best practices, our thoughts on how we approach things, etc. A lot of similarities, a lot of learning, a lot of personal stories. Today's event, amazing. I like the different idea that has been used. They have had ice cream stall and uh, which is managed uh, in sign language. So if people learn and pick to choose ice cream in sign language, they get it free of cost. It's a very good exercise for integration. It was a real eye-opener because uh, I feel like I'm somebody who is probably much more evolved because I have a very close friend who's visually challenged. But when Nadine asked a couple of questions about how would you speak to someone on a wheelchair, I gave all the wrong answers. So I think uh, my key takeaway was to never assume that you know everything. Here we are making tactile diagrams. Tactile diagrams are ex essentially sensory aids which help uh, individuals with visual impairment touch and feel to understand what happens on a computer screen. It was really fun to know what is a tactile gram. Today I'm very happy to be part of this. We are also happy that we could give something back to the society not uh, apart from our regular work. So there are two crore people in our uh, country who are uh, people with disability and out of which only one lakh are meaningfully employed and that's when organizations uh, like Giftable come into picture, one of the thing is inclusive gift store where people uh, can pick products that are made by people with disability and for people with disability. I'm a big believer that you know activities like this need to come from two parts of the body. One is up here and one is right here, right? It's the head and the heart. And therefore it's very important that we are able to connect at both levels. Equality and treating people equally is not always what we're trying to get at. We're trying to give people equal opportunities that's different than treating them equally. People who are differently abled very often think outside of the box. 9 to 11 percent of our population is in that category. That's a talent pool that is waiting to be tapped. They want to look at the talent which I really liked out. And one more thing, we are first, we are the people. Yeah, the disability is second. If we remove that term disability, we will be capable of doing everything like others. We want to do more. I think whatever we're doing, I think it seems to be working. To see how CDAM, the network has grown, has been amazing. People tend to look at the world based on what is behind their eyes. They need to be able to look at the world based on what is in front of their eyes. One of the things I always say is that diversity is inviting someone to a party. Inclusion is asking them to dance.